Hey, what's up everybody? It's David McGill. And in this video, I want to explain what information needs to be displayed on everybody's truck. So on the board, what I did was I wrote down an example of the information you would see on the truck here in my home city of Indianapolis, Indiana. First thing you're gonna notice is the business name. You also see the city state, the US DOT number, the motor carrier number, the last few digits of the VIN number, the gross vehicle weight rating, the KYU permit number, and also a unit number. Now, even though you might see all of this information on the side of a truck, not all of it is uh, required by the FMCSA. The FMCSA, they only require that you have the company name, and it needs to be displayed the same way that it's on your MC, MCS 150 report and your US DOT number. That's it. There's no other information when you read the FMCSA markings requirement that states you need to have any of this other information. Now, just because it's not required doesn't mean it's not recommended. Me personally, I keep the city and state on all of my vehicles as well as the MC number. And I also put the unit number on each of my vehicles. Now the reason why I include the city and state as well as the MC number is because what I found is you can have the same trucking business name as another company in a different state. So what I don't want to happen is I don't ever want to get pulled over, have one of my drivers pulled over and the DOT officer, they, based on the name, they might mistake my company for a different company. So what I do is I include more identifying information that's specific to my company only. So that's why I do the city state as well as the MC number. Another reason why I do that is because most people have all of this information, I don't ever want to be in a situation with a DOT officer where they think that all of this stuff is required because they see it so often. Now, of course, they should know the rules. However, I don't want to leave anything up to chance. So if everybody else typically has more identifying information, then I don't want to you know, stick out like a sore thumb. So I typically follow suit with you know, city, state, and again, MC number. The reason why I include the unit number is because I have multiple trucks. So anytime I'm talking to um, my fleet service manager or a driver, uh, I want to be able to refer to you know a unit number so that way we know which vehicle we're talking about if we're having a conversation. Um, I do not include the VIN number, the GVWR, or my KYU number. Now you can do those things if you like, but me personally, I just I choose not to since it's not required and it's it's, it's a lot of extra information that. Um, doesn't necessarily identify my company with a DOT officer in the event that we were pulled over. So again, truck business name, city state, US DOT number, MC number, and unit number. That's the only information I keep displayed on the side of my trucks. Now, another requirement you have to consider is you want to, uh, your, your decals have to be um, contrasting colors. So if you have a black truck, you probably want to use white writing or um, gray writing. But if you got a black truck, you don't want to use like a dark green or a dark purple, something that's illegible, um, because um, then you'll, have an, you'll run into an issue with the DOT if they can't read what's on the side of your truck. Now, this information needs to be displayed on both sides of your vehicle. So make sure when you order your decals or your letters that you get them for you know, both sides. If you have any questions about anything we covered in this video, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content.